there's three business models you got to identify in insurance. One, your client acquisition. Two, the training of the communication channel. And then three is the product knowledge. A lot of people focus too much on the product knowledge, but if you don't have a client to get in front of, it doesn't matter. We're going to go and get started. Uh, this is our live agent Q&A. This allows any agent that just wants to come in, ask any questions about contracting, um, production, activity, field, contracting, uh, and uh, anything even life, we're gonna we're gonna start uh, having some some thought provoking questions in life now. <laughs> it's great for content. Right. <laughs> so my name is yeah, John. I've got Joanne here. Yeah, I've actually attended these sessions before too. Like, so I am aware, you guys. That's the reason I was like, you know, let's see what questions come in, and you know, it's always good to hear questions. From yes. People, so. so if you have any questions, feel free to fire away, or if not, we can tailor it to you. How would you like to start? Okay, sounds good. Yeah. Well, I actually have asked questions in the past too so <laughs> right this time i don't have any but uh yeah i'm just here to see what's going on so okay okay so yeah so first off let's introduce uh joanne's new updates so we do have some updates with the nlc and whatnot yeah so we find we finally have updates you guys on nlc <laughs> so i know we've all been kind of uh waiting around to get um american amicable um launched in nlc i know that um internally it's been kind of a headache for a lot of us when we submit you know, American Amicable through Sure LC, it sometimes gets pushed through to the carrier, sometimes it doesn't. So now they have launched it um, officially on um, next level contracting. So you guys are nice. able to submit your contract through there. Um, it does have a requirement. So it does require your AML. So you do have to have, or make sure you do have an AML to upload onto, um, onto that request. Um, unlike Americo, Americo still doesn't require one. But um, if you guys are in need of American Amicable, make sure that you guys do have a um, anti-money laundering certificate that you guys are able to upload on there. And then we can go ahead and process your applications. Okay. So just to add to that then, so American Amicable has their own AML contracting. So how you would go into there is you would go to AmericanAmicable.com, go under, it's going to ask you for a username and password, put in AML password course, C-O-U-R-S-E. You'll be able to start as an agent AML contracting before you get contracted, and then you can you can use that to upload. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, for the other AMLs, you have to wait for Mitchell of Omaha or Americo to sponsor you to start using Limra. Which right. AML can also or some use. some agents yeah. also use their purchase the one through Insurance Bay beforehand. Yes. So it's we don't recommend that. <laughs> I was gonna say that, but you know. Yeah. So one thing when we start using Sure LC Insurance Bay. They do advertise and sponsor a couple of their products, which is sometimes not useful for the other carrier, right? right? So if you if you use Sure LC's um, um, AML contracting, Mitchell will kick it out, and then they they charge you for it, where it should be free. So MM provides you a free AML, Prosperity provides you a free AML, Prosperity you need their AML training off of their site, and then there's the Limra. Limra to get started, you need to have your agent number uh, or your NPN number. And your last name is your password. But to get in, AmeriCorps or Mutual of Omaha will have to contract you. Um, but any, uh, so just MM, not including AIG? AIG is still not on there. Not okay. yet. Um, and then another update to HCMS. I know a lot of you guys have noticed that you guys are able to enter in your um, AMS, your advanced marketing um, product writing numbers. Awesome. So... So yeah, it is, it's going to be pretty cool because um, it is going to be recording everybody's AMS numbers. However, the HCMS website or platform is not used to submit contracts. So you guys are not able to submit a new contract for any AMS carrier. Um, you guys are still going to have to um, submit them through me. Um, you guys can do that through um, Navi. Yeah. So most of the time, either through Navi or some of our other liaisons, they go ahead and they um, disperse or um, you know, they divide over the carrier. So just go ahead and send me over your request to my email, joanne at eliteffl.com. And then we can definitely get you guys um, uh, contracted with those carriers. Yeah. Just to add to that, um, just be very patient. Once Joanne has submitted your information, <laughs> it's out of her hands. Yeah. <laughs> you got the contract and you have an application. She she got it. She forwarded it. And then and then we, we get a lot of um expedition <laughs> expeditions uh requests. Yeah. We can't control it. 
Yeah. For the most part, if there are, if you guys do have business to submit with your contracts, then that is when uh, most of the time the carrier does take that into consideration and they do want to push out your writing numbers, um, you know, as fast as possible. But however, those carriers still have their own contracting process, their background, yes, their background checks, all of that stuff takes a while. So if you guys do have business to submit or know that you guys are going to have some pending business coming up, just let me know and then we can help you guys out. Yeah. Worst case scenario. So first off for AMS, what AMS is, is uh, Family First Life Advanced Market Sales. This is where we get contracted through FFLAMS.com for specific carriers in the advanced market. So the advanced market defines as the IUL market, the annuity market, and then the uh, uh, infinite banking concept market. Um, I'm not too sure if we're going to get into premium financing as well. But uh, these are all the advanced things. The common things that we do is we do final expense mortgage protection, uh, basic whole life, term life, term with the return and premium rates. Um, but, but for the advanced markets, we have some really, really great competitive companies and carriers. They specialize in that. But to get contracted, we need an in, uh, initial application most of the time. So you would do a paper application or you have an illustration needed. Then you submit the request with Joanne in association with Navi. And then, so there's two moving parts with the Navi and their advanced market team getting that contract and set up to get your agent number. So we, we just gotta be patient. Most of the time, if you have something ready or, or on the line, it's better to start getting that um, taken care of right away. But the purpose of the filter is to make sure that we don't have an agent that hasn't written a single paper of business trying to get contracted with 30 to 40 carriers and company. Yeah. It costs a lot of money. Yeah. But overall, it's not really that, um, I mean, yeah, it costs a lot of money, but then also those are like the, some of the rules and guidelines of the carriers, the carriers do require that most, most of the time and most of the carriers for the advanced marketing um, do require a first piece of business. And the reason for that is because obviously they, um, just like you said, it does cost to contract them, but then also um, if no business is written within the next six months or of you getting the contract, they go ahead and they terminate you anyways. And then you're not able to contract unless you have business to submit. So yeah. it kind of defeats the purpose of getting contracted if we don't have business to submit for them. Yeah, it just costs so much because, you know, you have administrative yeah. workers, background checks. The, the carrier itself even pays like appointed uh, state appointment fees. Yeah. So they do a lot of things to get you involved. And then if you don't write business, yeah. what was the point? <laughs> so right. so that's that's the biggest thing. Um, any other questions? We have a new joinee. Um, I have a question. Sure. Sorry, uh, I was a little, uh, my background was a little hollow earlier. I'm assuming it's better now. Is yeah. it the same Sam? Same Sam. Okay. <laughs> now you can see me in person. Before it was my picture. Uh, there you yep. go. So, uh, so my quick question would be that whatever information you provided, where can I go and take a look at it if there's a place? So which information are you looking for? What are we just, whatever information in terms of appointments and stuff. Not the new updates, but something like, you know, where we just mentioned in terms of how carriers work and which, you know, like, where to go for like let's say a uh, AML certificates and stuff like that. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. So it's typically on the welcome email by Joanne. She okay. has most of that information and step yeah. by step in. I have um, that. So that's yeah. okay. That's that's you, yeah. Joanne. Okay, that's yeah. But but the biggest thing is take down my phone number. I'm your I'm your okay. secondary upline. Okay. Along with uh, Lonnie, it's okay. uh, John. Uh -huh. uh, back around five six two. Three three five. Eight four five five. Okay, three three five eight four five five. Yeah, just send me a text and I'll save your number as well. Okay. So how are no, you? With... No, no, I can be our Sam too, right? I'm just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you with the contracting? Which part are you in now, Sam? And by the way, what, what state are you in? I'm in Illinois. In Illinois. Okay. Okay. Um, so how... you know what? I'll be very honest with you. I'm a little bad on the memory right now so i'll have to go and look and today was the day when i was going to do all that stuff again see okay. where i stand you know i thought i already had aig but i don't know i, I mean i see i saw the id but i don't or agent yeah, ID, no, but I don't remember if I was yeah. actually contacted, but you know it's funny aig will show you an agent number on sure lc but you don't even have an agent number yet so i, I guess it's like a preset agent number but you don't have one until you get a welcome email from them Got it, and which I which I don't actually. So, okay, so you, which I haven't received. So it's still probably yeah. pending then. 
Yep. So I will definitely take a look at all, including foresters. I mean, Lonnie was trying to get an update as well on that as well. So I've been okay, in touch okay. with him. And he's pretty good with uh, following up. What about I'm the what about guy. your prosperity? Uh, I don't. I don't think I've done much with it or anything with it. I have to okay. double check. I've I've been. I started off good, but then again, my father got a little behind because I'm actually a PNC agent as well. I and, see with you. Uh, so, uh, so say again. Look at you. Yeah, You're well, I've been around. in the insurance industry for a while. So, you know, I mean, life insurance is not new to me. It's just that I, I'm new to uh, family first life. So Got it. perfect, so perfect. So that. this this goes into the next uh, leeway of a uh, segue of you uh, and expanding your business. So what what got you into the company? How did, how was your relationship with Lonnie? And then what is your intentions with it now? <laughs> so funny, you know, what's funny is that I was actually with uh, AGI. Um, so uh, you've heard of it. And uh, so it's just that I was in one of the insurance groups and Lonnie updated something about ethos or ethos. And uh, I'm like, okay, well, and then Lonnie also was with Family First Live. So I just sent him a message on social media, on Facebook. Wow. And that's how we got to know each other. And he sent me a link to, and I was already, in, I was already interested in uh, looking at Family First Live to see what, what Family, First all, uh, Family First Live is all about. Nice. And send me a link uh, where, you know, this YouTube link where the person explains everything about it. And I actually always wondered if there was a, and it's funny that I was, I, it's true that I was actually always wondering, like, if there was an agency like that or or platform like that where I could produce on my own as well, if I couldn't or did not want to recruit. That was my main reason of um, yes. one of the first reasons. And uh, also they paid well. So this is it. And now what I think is that, uh, and also getting paid by the carrier and all this stuff, all the good things that I saw there. And then, uh, and I'm not saying this because I joined you guys, it's because of that I joined you guys. You know what I'm saying? Well, <laughs> so, yeah, because uh, coming from someone that with experience in the in the industry, there's a yes. lot of little things people uh, that came yeah. into FFL as a brand new agent didn't realize. Like that's not how it worked back then. <laughs> right, exactly. And and then also the leads part. I mean, I don't know if I'll retrieve or not. I mean, I'll I'll, I'll use them or not, but. It's there. It's there for me, especially when I'm hiring new or recruiting new guys. And if I can give them this idea of, hey, leads, you know, because I do have, no, I have clients. So it's not a right. problem for me in a way, but I will try out leads myself too. I want to see how it is. Okay. You, know? and you never know. I mean, what if it works out for me and maybe I can spend three, four hours a day just doing leads and, uh, you know, make yeah, money. Yeah, there you go. That. And one final thing I want to tell you is that I were, I'll go after seasoned agents too, because yes. seasoned agents are contracted with companies where they make, good compensation. So going to MLM and making 30% and then recruit and then all that stuff, I think FFL would be a great platform for them to be able to make their own compensation the way they currently do maybe. And uh, also be able to uh, have their agents that they always recruit for their agencies to do that. You know? Yes. So, yes. Yeah. In fact, actually most of the board members, so board members defined uh, in the, the business is uh, doing $1 million in volume and production per month. Um, yeah. Most of them came from different companies yeah. that knew how to write, knew how to hustle, and it, yeah. it just tripled, quadrupled their their potential here with FFL. Right. So right. definitely yeah. uh, a lot of uh, good things that you're going to be able to bring in with your with your circle of influence as well. Yeah. So you have, you said you've been in insurance for how long? Uh, overall, like ten years, but full time, I would say three three and a half years. Okay, but mainly PNC before. Yeah, PNC for the most part. I've had my life license since I don't know. 13 or something, but didn't do much until uh, Corona, I mean, uh, COVID hit and I had more time. <laughs> so, oh, okay. Okay. So I'm well, like, Hey, did... learn more about IUL and stuff, you know? So there you go. How did you target your PNC clients? So let's, let's talk about your business. So, cause it, this could relate or this could be a better innovation with FFL. Right. So, so the, best, the basic thing is that I come from a South Asian background, which is Indian Pakistani background. Okay. So we are business owners, many of us. Yes. So, and I've been a business owner before. I've owned subways and the gas station and stuff like that. So that's after leaving corporate and uh, also leaving real estate. I have, I have a real estate license, which I did for 10 years. But once I got into the insurance industry, I started to target business owners to do their yes. commercial stuff like Dunkin' Donuts, subways, gas stations, hotels. And Franchise stuff like owners. That. Franchise owners, right? So, and then eventually I, when I got into the life industry, I had a partner with me where I would, you know, that person would actually help me with it. And then eventually... Um, I got interested too. And my partner still helps me actually, which which is actually my cousin and I've already talked to her. She lives in Texas. So is she uh, licensed? 
She's licensed, yeah. She, oh, there we go. Now you got a team with my life clients, yeah. So she has some questions, but I I think we'll be we'll be good. I'll be bringing her on board pretty soon. So yeah, if you ever need it, uh, we can always do a three way or a four way. We could go on Zoom. I can answer a lot of uh, technical yeah. things for her. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, but, this is the best thing because, like, at the end of the day in the industry, this is a learn from Sack, and I, I mentioned and preached this to new agents. There's three business models you got to identify in insurance. One, your client acquisition. Two, the training of the communication channel. And then three is the product knowledge. A lot of people focus too much on the product knowledge, but if you don't have a client to get in front of, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so exactly. you have a special niche within the Indian community. Yep. You got 7-Eleven, gas station, hotels, <laughs> yep. uh, hotels, right. uh, restaurant yeah. owners. Yeah, All IT these, guys. It's just your access. IT, IT guys, guys, medical industry, you know? So, yeah. and the thing is pretty much everyone that I've sold insurance to in the last, at least the last couple of years since I've been taking more interest is uh, is actually my 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 clients, my yes. repeat slash my- and it's, it's true because, you know, I've been in insurance for 14 years. Indians are the biggest demographics that's the hardest to sell. Yeah, they are. It's very, <laughs> it's very true, especially the conservative ones. And then that's, it's, yes. it, there's no, there's no uh, lying about it. Uh, but the thing is, the the population is so huge yes. that you know you can target them very easily, especially when they have the trust. affordability, a trust, but also the affordability. And you have to be able to show the product to them to understand how future works because without having to have two more stores, you can sell IUL. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There you go. There you go. So, or annuities, you know. So they have to be yeah. used to that. And like you said, trust has to be there too, of course. You know. So yeah. So, but I mean, the biggest thing is you're going to be dealing with some affluent clients with disposable income, you know, yeah. provided that their business is doing well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, and this is a, this is a guaranteed business. I mean, guaranteed uh, earned money that you can make, you know, sitting there. So yeah, I'm uh, definitely looking forward to uh, close a few deals here. Yeah, there you go. So let me just introduce a couple of concepts. Um, one, uh, you want to get contracted with some, some uh, top of the line IUL companies. Okay. So first off, get contracted with NLG. Get contracted with um, FNG. FNG. Yeah. Um, what was the first one again? NLG, National N Life Group. Oh, NLG. Okay, got it. Yeah. And then uh, Fidelity and Guarantee Insurance Group, right. FNG. Yep. Yeah. So these two main companies, there's additional companies out there. There's, um, if you if you get into infinite banking concept, you want to get into uh, Lafayette. Okay. Okay. And then um, there's a, competitive IUL, but they're, they're not helpful <laughs> customer service wise. Okay. Um, on getting contracted and, and, and servicing your clients. So I wouldn't mention them yet unless okay. you get the really clients that's super analytical and they want the highest rates and all that stuff. Got it. Some of the Got clients it. you're going to identify with, they're not going to know too much about the IUL. They just want to trust that their money's going to grow and it's going to be there and it's going to be safe. So right. those main two companies, they're going to be good enough. Yeah, I've worked with F and G before, so they're a great company to work with. So yes, I just, I just high comp. There. That's one yes. thing is with F and G's high comp. Yeah, with their IUL path setter, you can get up to a million dollars of the policy without a physical exam for sixty and under. Got it. Got with it. With NLG, so. you can go up to two million. Okay, got it. Yeah. All right. So, uh, you know, the, the thing about F and G for me, at least, is that you know F and G is still not as known to like consumers. So I have travelers that i use for pnc you know uh and fng underwrites them <laughs> so it's always wow. their policy hey look <laughs> fng is right here you know so that's a good yeah. advantage i had i came across they're building their brand yeah they are and they're, they're great they're, they're the great carriers is that sometimes you know the humans have to know of the name you know like aig or new york life or something like that so but then again yeah, like but when you earlier, trust is what is what is important you know correct once you show our, our our carriers and and our list tell them hey we're shopping for you we'll find you the best rates all of these companies that we represent we only work with a and a plus ratings okay got if it. they got to be another we, we don't mess with them you got it uh, yep. your, your money's safe and then most most importantly it's competitive yep uh, but yeah so concept wise look into um what's called a key person insurance Okay, so yeah. look into um, a a pension slash retirement fund using the IUL for their employees. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, visit the website FFL AMS. There's a lot of trainings and materials in there. Yep. Uh, Sean Ruggier talked about it even with um, one of the guys, Dave um, Martin, uh, Devin Martin. Um, how they did it, they let's say you you and I are partners, like you and your cousins are, right? Mm -hmm. 
you're in your own business, but what's the exit plan? So that's that's kind of like the glaring questions you want to bring up to, to the business owners. Look, you're right. working, you're making money. What are you going to do when you get old? How do you get out of this? Yep. So here's how it works. We're going to set it up where the business pays for the IUL. It's a pension. Just in case you die, it's key person insurance. There's money for the business. But since it's an IUL that builds cash value, what you're going to do later on in the future is that you're going to turn this into a personal coverage. It transfers to you when you're older. You get to do systematic withdrawals on the, the right. IUL. Exactly. And then you keep it as a pension plan. Yep. yep. But you got to fund it well. You got to fund it yep. $500,000 a month. You got to be make, make, make sure that you're seeing the long-term gains into it. Right, right. You build it up. And the advantage I have, I don't know if it's a good thing or a good strategy or not, but I actually show them my own policy. <laughs> like, yes. look at it, you know, look at, well, I have it too. So, because sometimes yes. people ask you like, hey, do you have one? I'm like, I have two, not one. <laughs> not just that, but yeah, um, if you have kids, young kids, show show a policy of them. It's like, look, you're not the only one you could do this to. You could do it yeah. to your young kids and set them up. Which and- is even better because if you, it's cheaper at that age and, you know, just do it for a few years and then keeps growing so yeah you have years to compound it yep exactly there you go yep. and then and then you want to get contracted with a theme a theme will be for the annuities yes have you done annuities before i have not but i i understand how it works uh have uh, pitched the uh annuities to a few clients in the past uh haven't had much success uh was pitched by my partner uh, i've seen i i know it works because it's never presented it so yeah, it's a, it's a great time now. You're, you're going to see a lot of business owners with cash on hand. They're scared of going into the real estate because the cost of the real estate is high. Right. They're scared of like doing a new investment. Constructions and other variables are high. Right. right? right. Or even businesses like, too. I mean, you know, so. They yeah. Are so you tell them you could do a minimum of 10,000. You can go to, up to a million, diversify your portfolio, keep it in a contract seven to 10 years and it'll just grow on its own. Right. So you never lose into it. You never lose yeah. principal. Yep, so, yep. And more importantly, if you have clients that used to be um, working for a, a business or, or a, an employee as a 401k, you could roll those over as well. Yes, absolutely. Yep. So, yeah. So I think your game plan then is whether you go into the leads uh, strategy or not, if you're going to master that, there's going to be a lot of uh, situations that you can help out, especially yep. with the clientele. Absolutely. Yep. That's, you that's, speak that's the language? Right. Say again? You speak the language? Yeah, I speak uh, more than... Uh, I speak two or three languages besides English. So that's an advantage I always have. Yeah, so, there you go. That oh, could man, be the little liaison. It. Yeah, I've been the liaison for a lot of uh, consumers, uh, especially on the PNC side when I was doing a lot of, well, I still do it. But what I'm saying is before I started life, I was, you know, it's always good to like, sometimes I need help with customer service or stuff like that. So that's a great advantage I have in terms of I've helped them. So they know that I will help them again if needed or when needed. So Yes. And then do you know how to also um, convert like your PNC clients and then sell them a little bit of life? That's what I've been doing. Most of my clients that have have bought life insurance have been my PNC clients. So it's easier. It's already a warm lead for me. So, and they're willing to take a look at it or, hey, uh, call me in December. Like I have one client, uh, uh, she wants me to, you know, get in touch with her in January. So a lot of friends, high school friends, college friends, business owners, you know, so... I think my, for my for myself, the circle is not a problem. It's more about making sure that I understand how the whole FFL scenario works for me. Uh, you know, yes. in terms of especially like Foresters or Mutual of Omaha and stuff like that. I've not worked with those carriers before, so I just yeah. want to make sure that I'm appointed. I have you know, and and I'll tell you, Lonnie has been very helpful. So that's a great uh, support system I have. And now I got you too. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah, so we can always help you with, especially FFL AMS. Uh, you don't have to do too much about the illustrations. You can s- create the scenario with FFL AMS. They'll spit out the illustration for you, right. and then you. you bring and that's it one more. That's another feature I like by the Ask a Specialist, right? On, Correct. Yeah. So I I, lo- I love that feature. I was like, I never use it, but I was like, hey, that's a great thing. Now I don't have to worry about doing it on my own. Not that I don't want to do it. It's like, again, it saves a little time when you have someone who could give especially- you an idea. With like 20 carriers they're looking at, they're going to tell yeah, you exactly. the best solution. Yeah, and that's uh, that's it's a little time consuming, right? So I can focus more on other things that I wanted to get more clients, you know? So exactly. I'll present to them if I had to or when I have yeah. to. Just uh, fo- try to focus on the, the, I would say, simplified underwriting because okay. you, you understand with the fully fully underwritten policies. I, I was talking to one of my, my uh, colleagues. He's in a different agency and he got into... Um, IULs, right? He got into fully underwritten apps. 
And it's all like, yeah, I'm getting some clients, but the issue with it is it takes two to three months to pay out. <laughs> yeah. It does, yeah. <laughs> you got to get a physical exam. You got to get blood, urine. And it's like, yep. okay, well, how do you get a consistent cash flow? Yeah. Because in his business, the way he's doing, he's paying for callers. He's paying for uh, live dialers right now. To to He's buying data, buying live di- um, telemarketers, basically, to contact them and, and get these oh. target market. Yeah. So he has a business in a system, but he's paying these people on a weekly basis because they're on hourly, right? Well, what if your commissions, even though they're yeah. high, high uh, commissions, they're not coming in two to three months later? You got to create that capital right. and yeah, cash flow. That cash flow. So this is where in our business with um, FFL, final expense, mortgage protection, we have cases where we can write you on a Monday today. We get paid on it by a Wednesday. Right. True. Right. Yep. Yep. And yep. then if you have a death benefit type of IUL where clients just want more of a life insurance, uh, look into Mutual of Omaha's Index Universal Life Express. Okay. IULE. Okay. Uh, for anyone 50 and under, you can go up to up to 300,000 simplified issue approved on the spot. Got it. 50 to Got 60, it. it'll cut off to 250. And then 60 to 70, it'll go up to um, 150,000. Okay. Got it. Okay. The simplified. Simplified. Okay. Yeah. Simplified. That's the best part. So clients in their 60s, 70s, decently healthy, um, but doesn't want to have to do a physical exam because it might throw them off. Really good. Good rates. This, competitive rates. And this, this is for IUL, huh? Yeah, it's called, uh, but it's more of a death benefit um, type of policy than a cash accumulation type policy. What's the name again? IULE, Index I-U-L. Universal Life yeah. Express. I-U-L. Yeah, IUL. Okay. Yeah. With Mitchell of Got it. Okay. Yeah, so you got a lot of things on, on the works. We, we yeah. just got to get through this hurdle, get your contract and get your agent numbers. Don't worry about too much of a product knowledge. We'll have these sessions. You can contact me. You can text me. I will tell right. you which product to go to. But the biggest thing is get in front of a client, find out their situation, their underwriting. We'll, we'll just spit out a product for you. Got You're it. off and running. Absolutely. Cool. Yeah. Thank and then so mm-hmm. once you have that, that control, that consistency, build the world right there and start building yep. your agency. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, uh, now, I, I do have a question regarding uh, the compensation. Correct. Can I ask here? Uh, in a private setting. Okay, got it, got it. Yeah, I'll send you there. We have also a master list for okay. it. Um, but uh, on a public setting, you have your FFL comp. Okay. And then your FFL comp correlates to each company carrier's product and their comp. Right. But you would look at it. There's a chart for it. I'll send you the chart. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. It was so, just a general question, not a, not personal. At, at the personal, it was more of a general scenario. Yeah, go ahead. But, if it's general, I'll, yeah. I'll call you go ahead and it. ask. So yeah, I'll, no, no, that's fine. I'll call you for it later. Okay, it's, okay. It's not important anyways. And b- besides, this will give me an excuse to give you a call too. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but on the general side, for anybody else listening, um, yeah. what's great about Mutual of Omaha's IOL Express, IOLE, it's simplified and it's only 10% off your comp. Usually IOLs, most IOLs are based on target premium. It's about 30 to 40% off your FFL comp. Okay, so this is the, the biggest catch where you do a fully underwritten you got the client in a good plan. It took two to three months to pay and it's 40% off your comp. <laughs> so this right. is where um, we're preaching FNG now because FNG is only 10% off your comp, just like IULE. NLG, it's a little bit less. <laughs> that makes sense. Got it. got it. Yeah. So you get to pick up, you know, competitive rates for you and age and the client. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Cool. Any other questions? I'm good. Okay. So we're going to go into our specific topic. Um, just just more about working the holidays again. Do you have any specific advice on um, protecting your time as far as, you know, kids are going to be out of school, you know, family wants to go outings, dinners, and all that. How do you, how do you maintain the boundaries in the multitasking or non-multitasking for you? Oh, do you have a big family, Joe? I don't. I don't. I was just going to say that. So I, I am actually, I just have one child and my, my boy is 15. So he's as independent as can be at this point. So, um, but either way, I have been a single mother with my kid, you know, since he was little. So the way that I would manage it then is always, um, I don't know. I think honestly, it would be different because I wasn't working at home yeah. now that I'm thinking about it. Right. Like many of our agents are at home working. They have their little ones running around. Um, for me, I don't have that issue. My kid kind of leaves me alone. I work and he does his own thing. You know what I mean? So I, 
yeah, it works seamlessly. But for agents, I want to say um, that do you have. You hear that from mom? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Oh, the kids, for sure, the, the kids, kids are, are running around for school. I can't. There's no picking yeah. them up and dropping them off. Yeah. So I don't know. I run across like, for example, I get calls from from our agents that are working at home right now. You know what I mean? And they do have their little ones running around in the background or whatnot. But for the most part, I would always just recommend, um, you know, really protecting your time of work when you are working from home, when you are an independent contractor, when you guys are running your own business, um, protect your dial time, protect the time that you guys are going to be focusing on your work, you know, whether that be when they're asleep, uh, maybe getting some non-resident licenses where you guys can reach out to maybe other people that are working out earlier, that are uh, up earlier or maybe up later, yeah. um, maybe exploring that would, you know, uh, provide some solutions for our agents that do have families um, during the holidays. But one thing I would say is always make sure that if you guys, if you guys are working from home, just continue working from home, um, figure out a way to, you know, balance everything out with your kids, um, introduce them into what you guys are doing, make it more interactive at some point, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, having them understand that you guys are working from home and this is kind of the dynamic of how you guys have to function. Maybe it's a silent time while you're on your, your, your dial time or whatnot, you know? So, um, finding different ways that works for everybody. Yeah, um, for that, sure. I think that's one of the rules I, I created. My five-year-old, she knows, she understands now. I said, baby, when I'm on the phone, you can't talk to me. You can't bother me. Yeah, I'm like busy working. It. Yeah. Uh, so s- same thing to the wife. You tell the wife, hey, I'm going to be calling from this time to this time. I got some yeah. appointments. I'll be right back and take care of the kids. Right. So, so it has had, to be a communication uh, channel. Totally. Like we had um, Derek last week on Thursday yes. explaining how his dynamic works with his family. So um, I think his schedule is shifting where, you know, maybe his wife is going to be working full time now during the days or uh, weekdays. And now he's going to be having the weekends with the kids or whatnot. Right. So they kind of like shift off. So maybe also like involving your partner, yeah. having some, you know, communication and stuff like that, some support built out your support system. If you don't have a support system, then I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of SOL. Yeah. yeah just, I remember Derek was saying that. Sit like, your kid down next to you and have them do something with you or whatnot. Yeah. I, Derek, but, Derek did mention that. It's like he was yeah. making phone calls and he didn't finish his call. So he told his wife, hey, I'm going to be upstairs for a few more hours. Yeah. I'm going to make calls. Take care and of that's kind of like the dynamic too that I hear a lot of the agents have with um, back at home, you know, where um, they kind of balance everything out. Maybe stuff like that works out. What else works for you? Um running away <laughs> not being in <laughs> office office setting if you guys have work spots yeah, i, I mean it's always going to be the easiest thing being here you're more productive here than at home yeah. right because if if you're staring at a wall or a computer screen you're less likely to be distracted but by the dishwasher also, the laundry kids yeah but then also we have the live dials that are going to be on during the holiday season so oh, every boy. single day we're going to be on there. So if you guys are at home, random times, whatever, whenever you guys can get away from your kids, hop on the live dials. Yes. You know, so that, that channel is always going to be open for everybody to kind of hop on and, and be there working. Yeah. I think that's, that's the the biggest thing is like, if you're having a hard time or being too distracted yeah. on your own, jump into the live dials. It's join elite um, dials.com. Dials. It'll be at a zoom. We're on it. People are calling, people are dialing. Yeah. You can ask questions, but at least you know, okay, someone else is working, you're working, you can stay yeah. productive. Right? And most definitely, I'm sh- I'm more than positive that every- most agents are going to be on working. Yes, but. yes. Uh, but one, what advice? Um, people are shy, but go on video. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. You, know, at least you, hear, had, you um, see someone calling, you see someone else working, you know? Yeah. Today, yeah. I actually had a conversation with one of our agents. Her name is Sandra. And she was, I saw her. I saw yeah, her this morning. She was on there. And does she have her camera on or she had it off? She had it off and it, okay, she turned it on. Perfect. Yeah. So she had said to me, she said, I'm on the live dials, but I don't want to turn on my camera and I don't want to talk in front of everybody because it's kind of embarrassing. And I was like, well, that's, we're all doing the same thing. Everyone's making calls. Everyone's hearing each other's mistakes or not. I said, like, you know, we're all on there doing the same yeah. thing. Don't be shy. Turn on your camera and, and turn on your mic. Like, yeah, nothing's going to happen. It was awesome, too, because I heard yeah. Derek. He, he unmuted. He was talking to a lady. He was trying to get her into an appointment. And it's just like, huh? What? No, nah, no, nah, I'm not going to. And it just hung up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like good try good try yeah. <laughs> but those are like situations that happen i mean even if you are embarrassed on the live dial 
I mean, it's a progress for everybody for sure. You know what I mean? Um, little steps, baby steps, hopping on, hearing how everybody's doing. Um, and then not just staying there, give yourself some milestones, tell yourself, okay, today I'm going to hop on and I'm going to unmute myself as soon as someone comes on or give yeah. yourself small challenges and hold yourself accountable to um, integrating yourself more into, into the yes. group. Yeah. I think that's one, one good thing. It's like, okay, let's do an hour session, two hour session, yeah. 90 session, you know, yeah, like, and without taking a break, then right. listen to somebody and then let me keep going. Yeah. Yeah. So just stay engaged. That's the biggest thing is, you know, you are in your own business. You're, you're going to be by yourself a lot at the times, but most of the times other people are in the same position as you. So you're not alone. So that would be our best thing. So continue to work, continue to, to, Understand the challenges that's going to come along with, you know, holiday time, people pulling you away left and right. But I think the best thing is protect your business time. <laughs> you have your fun, but be in, in business mode because, yeah. yeah, it can, days can slip out, slip away from you. One yeah. to 12, boom, next thing you know, it's New Year's. <laughs> that's what I was going to say. Like, just ever passes by really fast. So if you're kind of, and then family is probably yeah. going to start coming in more um, plans are arising so yeah most definitely i would say just protect your time to work and make sure that um you guys have a safe safe holidays and you guys get to enjoy everything you know yeah I mean? <laughs> stay stay eating with the holiday food stay fat but get your pocket fat <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, so that's yep. that's pretty much all we got for you guys thanks for joining us sam i will see you guys so, in the next week Go i ahead. have a real quick question though sure, sure. Uh, i know this session's been recorded does it is it available somewhere Yes. So our sessions is going to be on YouTube. Um, oh, it's uh, Elite Sales Podcast, which is our main one. And oh. Elite. It's FFL, FFL Elite Clips. Clips. Okay. So this one goes FFL Elite Clips. Elite Clips. That's YouTube, uh, right? Correct. Yeah. So we There's have two. a couple of uh, channels on YouTube. We have FFL Elite Sales Podcast. Sales Podcast. And then we have FFL Elite Clips. Um, you guys can view the full um recording of today's q a on there okay yeah because you know like uh, some points you mentioned about getting contracted and stuff i wrote them down but hey if i could watch the recording yes. again it's easier so oh yes, yeah yeah sure. and it just texts us um but, but yeah usually so if we do we do this on monday it'll be live by friday oh okay so it takes a few yeah. days so just text me because you don't want to wait five days let's get your contract yeah. out the way by then Got yeah okay. definitely all right, all right. Sounds great. great thank you thank Have you a good so one. much for your participation we'll see you guys next week bye okay see ya